What's going on today guys? Me Lego Man 213 here bringing you a quick video. This is my custom minifigure for Rolling Film Productions. He's doing a minifigure contest, so I'm entering in my Rebels Captain Rex. This is an updated one as well. Um, you can see there the original had a darker blue. I just added a lighter blue. It's a cobalt blue I used. The same blue for the Invert 501st Trooper. Um, I also gave him a Clone Army Customs DC-15 uh, rifle. Um, pretty much all the same. I did add a little bit more, you know, dirtiness to him. You know, like the dark colors. Um, I'm very happy the way he turned out. As you can see there, shoulder pads it turned out excellent. So did his uh, beard. I think that's like the best part of the entire figure. Besides the arms. The arms are amazing. They look amazing. Um... You can see there, I did a metal on both shoulder pads, and then the wrist pads are just painted on there. The, um, the hand, uh, you know, like the top of the hand is just painted on there as well. Sharpied the abdomen area where he's got his missing armor, and then the legs are entirely repainted by me. Again, I added just a little bit more wear and tear to them. Nothing too fancy. Um, the reason I gave him his DC-15 uh, rifle is because in the show he has that. I figured I'd give that to him. You can see in the back, you can see where the black is. You know, it's um, where I sharpied on to show the missing armor. Everything else is repainted, though. Like I said, the shoulder pads, the beard, the wrist pad, the hand, the legs. Torso has been repainted in the sense of I smeared some dark charcoal gray on there like lightly just to give the wear effect and I gave two blue stripes on I gave two blue stripes one on one side one on the other to show the weld marks that he has and yeah that's pretty much it for the figure guys like comment and subscribe I will post the comment in his video for rolling film productions like comment and subscribe guys like I said Lego Man 213 out